This week on the Highlander Report, the soldiers of 41 AD conduct counter IED training. Trainees learn various techniques, like creating threat assessments, using a variety of IED locating devices, such as metal detectors, and unit movement drills. The IED on the battlefield today is, it's the largest casualty producing weapon that the enemy has for us. It's cheap to produce, it's easy to create, they don't have to be in a stand-up fight against us to use it. So it's extremely effective for the enemy. Now, this was readily apparent in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, as we move throughout other pieces of the earth, other pieces of the globe, and we, you know, we fight fights or go help forces, host nation forces in other countries, I guarantee you that where soldiers show up on the ground in ACUs, if there's not an IED threat when they get there, that IED threat will quickly follow when they get there because the world has seen how, how effective IEDs are. The training contained both classroom lectures and hands-on tactical training. Because this is a master trainer's course, the students are intended to take what they learn back to their units and teach others. Sometimes you're going to have to move through areas where IEDs are located. So when that happens, we have a couple of TTPs that we teach them here so that they can move through those areas and be able to more readily locate IEDs, not so that they can do anything for them, but so that they can avoid them. But most of what we teach in this course, actually about all, all that we teach in this course with IEDs is about avoidance. It's not about trying to disarm or dig up or anything like that. It's all about avoidance. The students came from different battalions in 4-1, 4-6 Infantry, 213 Cav, and HHC Brigade. 4-1 even extended the invitation to 1-1 AD. For 4-1 AD and Fort Bliss, I'm Army Sergeant Mike Grimm. And as always, that's your Highlander Report.